Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? So guys, I do have a question for you. Well, some questions, of course. My first question is, well, actually, it's kind of a debate I've been trying to figure out for about, for about 33 years now. And it's one that I've been, re I've been trying to figure out if it's true. And I kind of think it is, but I'm also not sure if it is. Okay? Here's what it is. Okay, I want you guys to think back to about 1991. Okay? A game had come out on the Sega Genesis that was about a speedy blue hedgehog trying to stop an egg-shaped scientist from trying to, you guessed it, take over the world. Uh, of course. And, yeah, that clip. Anyway, the reason why I bring, I bring up, I bring this up is because until today, I never, I never realized this, or, or, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong or something, maybe I'm wrong on this, I don't know. But guys, do you guys think that Sonic falls under two categories that maybe that maybe we didn't realize it fell under at the time? Like, do you think it falls under the categories of Collectathon and Indie Game? And the same thing goes for Mario, too. Now, yes, I know that probably one or more of you are probably going to type in the comments, Sonic's owned by Sega, Mario's owned by Nintendo. I know that. That's not why I asked. The reason why I bring this up is because think about what you do in Sonic. You collect rings. That would make Sonic a collect-a-thon. And you're also collecting Chaos Emeralds, so you can stop Robotnik in the first three games. Right? I mean, am I am I wrong about this? I might be. I don't know. <laughs> and the same thing kind of goes for Mario. Whereas Mario's collecting coins, mushrooms, fire flowers, stars... So we can stop Bowser at the end of each cast at the end of each level in his castle. So am I wrong in thinking that Mario and Sonic are actually collectathons and possibly indie games, like the classic ones? Am I wrong in thinking that? Or have I really just not or am I just overthinking this? I I don't know, I might be overthinking it a little, you guys, so what do you guys think? No, seriously, what do you guys think of this? I mean, do you think I might be right? Am I overthinking this? Or is it possible, guys? I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm just not, I'm just not seeing the big picture here. I don't know. Now, again, yes, I know. Sonic is owned by Sega. He was created by Yuji Naka. Wait, is that... I think that's how you say that dude's name. I don't know. Anyways. Anyway. anyway. And Mario's owned by Nintendo. I know that. I know that. That's not why... I, that's not why I... That's not why I, ha I came up with this idea. This idea came up because I realized... Wait a minute. You collect rings in Sonic... And you collect Chaos Emeralds in the classic games, the first three anyway. And you collect coins and other items in Mario to stop Bowser from, from trying to do whatever it is he's going to do. I mean, am, am I wrong here? Have I really been so misinformed? Is it possible that Sonic and Mario are collectathons? 
I don't know. What do you guys think? So guys, and while you're at it, I, and I'd really appreciate if you guys could do this, go ahead and leave a like on the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, click the bell to be notified for future videos, share this video around, and most, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this already, okay? And you guys have yourselves a good day. And a better day every day. Okay? Remember guys. You take care of yourselves. Love you guys. Love you all very much. And guys. Till next time. See you later fam squad.